cheap. eBay sucks. They, uh, they used to be good. And they still can be good. That's kind of the caveat with this whole video. Is the fact that uh, I freaking hate them. I hate them. And there are limited instances where I sort of want to still use them and, and do still use them. But it's very limited. Here's what happens. Um, you have to describe your item accurately. All right? And you're describing the item as accurate as you can to like what you think is up with it, right? And then you send that sucker off. And a bunch of different things can happen, all right? You can put no returns and think you're good. You can put high, uh, high return uh, fee percentage if they return. That's, that's one option. Um, you can limit your stuff to not selling to people that don't have a lot of reviews or no reviews, new accounts, stuff like that. That can help. Um, but you send this phone off and you covered everything you believe to be true. And when they get it, if there's something wrong, they usually do a return request instead of just messaging you first. And they hold your money hostage. And then they just decide, maybe they decide to return it. Usually they do. Um, but granted, like if you were dealing with an individual, uh, nine times out of 10, you can work out like, oh, hey, you know, it was, it was a speaker that was muffled. Like what's a fair, you know, what's a fair deduction? And you can work something out that makes sense. Cause we all know that like we miss things. There's a ton of things you can miss. I get that. And I'm happy to uh, refund people when those things happen. <clears throat> but on eBay, Juan, I met Juan on eBay. Um, you, a lot of times that the person just does a return, a return request. And those things can add up and make you get less viewers and make it to where you can't expand your account. Um, they can make it to where you get paid slower. Man, it, like all kinds of problems that, that can arise from in, like in good faith on your end. You didn't, you didn't mean to not cover that thing. Um, and you know, you're sending out hundreds of phones, let's say, you're gonna miss some things. I don't care who you are. And my trick is beeping over here. I'm gonna have to throw this one out too. And so, um, and so another thing that can happen is the phone was perfectly fine. You, you described it exactly as it was, but they bought it hoping that Let's say they, they were hoping it was GTI MEI and you told them it was not loud as day on there that it wasn't. Or, so that then they'll return that and they'll make up a reason not as described. Even if you have no returns, if it's not as described, they, you have to take the return. So all they do is just make up a reason that means it wasn't as described. So that one's out the window. Um, and so they'll, they'll buy it thinking, oh, I'm gonna try to like maybe use the motherboard. And then they get in and they realize, nope, not gonna be able to use the motherboard, return. So they basically like use and abuse you as like this uh, free platform to test out, will, you know, will your, will, will it work out? If it doesn't, boom, return request. Also can affect your ratings, also can affect how many views you get on items, all of those things can get affected by this. It can get you straight out, straight up kicked out of uh, eBay. Um, another thing that can happen is it was exactly as described and then a couple of weeks later or a month or two later they have some other problem they can then try to do a return request they might lose okay you might say oh I will shut them down blah 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 they might lose sure uh, but then what they can do and this is another thing that they do when you have a high return percentage they say screw that I'm not paying that 20% they contact their bank or their credit card and they say I don't remember this charge and even if you win that I'm not concerned about that now that can affect your uh, that can affect your your rating and get make you go below standard and get you kicked off it's like there's no way that you can be ironclad for my experience I've sold 20 30 thousand items on eBay there's no way to be fully ironclad at this point to where you can stop up all the holes that these little weasels try to get through. Um, so with all that said, that's that's pretty much most of the reasons they suck. You know, high fees, everybody knows that. Um, but 
when it comes to selling certain types of devices or certain items, you can get not just a little bit extra. We're talking way extra, like double the price or more on certain phones. Those phones are gonna be like broken Samsungs, let's say. Um, I got a gang of Z Fold 3s, broke as can be. And guess where they ended up? Because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to buy them at if I'm getting 60 bucks for grade D, let's say. But on eBay, I'm gonna get closer to 120 to 150 per phone, um, which is a lot more palatable. It's a lot more doable for me. And so, um, you can you can get a bunch more in ways where it makes sense. And the way I do this is I list them as a group, to where if I'm gonna deal with one guy, I'm gonna deal with one problem instead of like ten different problems for ten different phones. Because I guarantee you, it's gonna come up. And the guy that buys that that gang of phones, those ten, I think it's eleven that I've listed. No, thirteen. The guy that buys those thirteen is gonna be a guy that knows what he's doing. He's gonna be a reseller. And so he's making an educated choice based on what I presented to see if this is gonna make sense or not. And he's the kind of person that would message me beforehand and say, hey, like I had one too many problems. Can you do a partial refund or can I, can I return a few of these? That sort of thing. Even if he straight out like screw me, so to speak, and returned them all, it would be one listing and one return. And that's how you maximize that baby. Anyway, if you have any more questions um, or, or tips uh, that could help this video, um, post them in the comments or hit me up. That's what I know. Peace.